Today I fucked up by not washing under my foreskin for the first 15 years of my life. This happened around 6 years ago when I was in 9th grade. I grew up not knowing a single thing about my dick or how to clean it. My parents never taught me anything about genitals and I apparently never asked, all I knew was that's where the pee came out. So one day in 9th grade biology our teacher was covering the male reproductive system that day and she got to a point where she mentioned that for uncircumcised makes the foreskin is supposed to retract over the head of the penis. I was pretty shocked because that's certainly not how mine worked. By that time I was a daily meat beater and my foreskin could barely go back enough for me to see the entrance of the urethra. So armed with my new knowledge about how my dick was supposed to work I went home and a few google searches led me to discover that I had a severe case of phimosis. So being the pragmatic young buck that I am I also google how to fix it. There were basically two options, either tell my parents and have them take me to a doctor for surgery or do stretching exercises, not wanting to tell any of this to my parents or have someone come near my penis with a scalpel I opted for the latter option. I got some baby oil, the only lube available at the time other than my mom's bottle of expensive extra virgin olive oil, and went to work. After about 4 hours of stretching I finally started making some progress. I could see a slightly bigger area now, not just the opening of the urethra like before. Everything was going great except for one thing, from the underside of my foreskin came the most pungent, musty, cheesy disgusting smell I've ever had the displeasure of smelling even to this day. It dawned on me that my penis had truly not been cleaned at all in my entire life up to that point. I kept stretching over the course of a few days and I started to notice a thick, gooey greenish brown sludge seeping from under the foreskin as I stretched. Some quick googling taught me that this was smegma, also known as dick cheese. I cleaned it off whenever it seeped out during my stretching exercises and as much as it disgusted me everything was still going fine. That was about to change real fucking fast. So this was about 10 days into my stretching and I'd gotten my foreskin about to the halfway mark. I was getting very excited to finally have a normal full functioning penis so I got very impatient and I decided I'd try to force it all the way back that day I lived and got to work. I pulled it back as far as it would go and pulled it some more. I pulled it till I couldn't bear the pain anymore. I did this over and over again for around 3 hours until I somehow managed to pull it almost to where it was almost over the entirety of the head of my penis. I got way too excited and despite the pain I gave it one big yank and I felt the foreskin pop over the back of the glands. It hurt like hell but I was just so relieved that I didn't care. I opened my eyes and my heart skipped several beats. The entire lower half of the head of my penis down to the area behind it was caked with thick brown green smegma. That was now mixing with the blood that was now seeming out of where I tore the top part of my foreskin when I yanked it over the glands. I freaked and squeezed the area to stop the bleeding and that only made the pain worse. It eventually stopped and then I had to chip away at the smegma caked onto my penis. I eventually got it all off after half an hour of scrubbing. I was still hurting but I was finally done. I got the foreskin all the way back over the head of my penis. I thought that was it. I tried rolling it back over the head but it wouldn't budge so I just left it I completely ignored the fact that the forcing the foreskin back all the way would constrict all the blood flow to the head of my penis. You know how a balloon looks when you fill it with water and tie it? That's how my penis looked. I went to bed, went to school the next day in severe pain and acted like everything was fine. When I got home I was still in major pain so I decided I'd check on it. I undressed in the shower and looked down at it. The first thing I saw were the blisters. Two huge brown puss filled blisters, one on the right side and the other on the underside of the glands. The next thing I noticed was the fact that my dick was now seemingly turning some shade of white. I'm a black guy. I realized that if I didn't find a way to get my foreskin back over my glands then it was probably going to shrivel up and fall off. I looped up once more and began forcing my foreskin back over the glands. This was made even more difficult because of the two big blisters in the way. I kept trying to force it back over and I put too much pressure on one of the blisters and it broke causing pus to leak out all over my penis and fingers. My penis was on fire at this point and I was holding back tears but I kept pushing until I felt it pop back over the glands. Judging from the liquid that seeped out afterwards and the extra jolt of pain I felt I guess the second blister popped too. 
Once again I left it and fucking went to bed. I checked 3 days later and my penis went back to its original color. I rolled back the foreskin again and cleaned where the blisters were and within 3 weeks I was pretty much okay. My foreskin was still tight and I do think constricting my glands with the opening of my foreskin for a whole day probably made me lose a tiny bit of sensation down there but hey at least my dick is clean. Also please for the love of god teach your kids about their body. Even if they aren't as stupid as I was don't take that risk lol. What the fuck. That went from bad to horrific. The smell alone probably killed several members of your household. I don't even have a dick and I'm traumatized by this. Thank god he figured this out before his first blow job. Can you imagine? Dude you just boosted my comfort level with my own penis by like 15 points. I have one question. Did you never smell your dick ever? Oh yeah. Anytime I masturbated the entire room smelled like spoiled cheese. I thought it was normal to be honest. And because of that I'm out. Today I fucked up by tweezing out an ingrown hair in a hem sensitive area and ending up in the hospital with what appears to be a systemic infection. So obligatory the fuck up happened on Tuesday but the consequences are only just now manifesting. So on I believe Sunday I was expecting to fool around with my lovely girlfriend and decided hey, you're a gentleman. You should make sure it's all nice and smooth down there so I set to doing some manscaping. It wasn't my first rodeo so I finished up quickly and efficiently and admired my handiwork. I will say that I didn't go full naked mole rat, simply cleaned up around the base of my trouser snake and cleaned up the fruit below. Off to the races. On Tuesday evening I noticed I had a little pimple on the base of my lit air, average, friend. So I gave it a quick squeeze and figured it must be an ingrown hair. No worries. I tweezed it out quickly and got on with my day. The next day however the pimple had scabbed over and become rather large, along with some pain in my lymph node in my groin. Not one to rush to the hospital. I'll give it a day I thought. What folly that was. After it seeming better on Thursday, we arrived at this fateful morning when I noticed the pimple had developed ahead. I should pop that I thought, because I'm an idiot who doesn't learn from his mistakes. But it all seemed fine. That is until about 6.30 this evening when I went to use the bathroom and noticed some not insignificant swelling in my member. The little guy has gone from average to, whoa, from unremarkable to disconcerting, from pleasant to oh god it hurts. It's very distressing. I'm in the hospital now praying it doesn't need to be removed. And no, I'm not gonna post pics you sick fucks. Edit. So I got in to see the doc and it's no big deal, just a skin infection that got a little more serious than normal. One week of antibiotics and I should be good to go, is it finally big enough to please your girlfriend? I'm kidding but I hope it gets better soon, I had an ingrown hair on my wrist and it was the worst thing ever. She, understandably, won't have sex with my infected Johnson. Today I fucked up by telling my girlfriend I knew she cheated on me. This happened approximately 6 years ago, I was laughing about it with my friend today, who recommend that I post it here. So, flashback to undergrad, things are good and I just started dating this beautiful girl that I had met in class. I was enamored with her, shocked that I loved her so fast, and amazed that she even wanted to date me. The first months are amazing, we can't keep our hands off each other and never seem to be sick of the other's company. After a few months into our relationship, I started to notice some concerning symptoms. As you can probably hypothesize, when I peed, it burned. At first, I just assumed it must have been something weird with my diet, to be sure, I decided to stop taking creatine just in case. But, as time went on, a few days later, the burning became unbearable. I would literally be struggling to stand while I peed because the pain was so intense. After, I would literally lay in my bed in the fetal position until the pain subsided. It was bad. Well, at this point, I was no longer convinced that my diet was causing the symptoms. No, it had to be what I thought unfathomable. My girlfriend must have cheated on me. I hadn't been with anyone else. I hadn't been with anyone else since I began pursuing her, months before we became exclusive. I was shocked. Things seemed so perfect. She seems like such a good person. Where had I gone wrong? The thought made my blood boil, until I outright confronted her. 
I told her I knew she must have been unfaithful because of my symptoms, and asked her if she had similar symptoms. She told me no. I demanded that she come with me to a clinic, that we both take a test, and share our results. She said sure, looking back at this I feel like a complete dick. We agreed that we would go the next day. The same night I confronted my girlfriend, my roommate's girlfriend came over to stay at our place. She was being nice and went to do some dishes for us. Around this time my roommates and I had just moved into a new house. In the process all our belongings got shuffled around. As she went to get some dishwashing pods, she exclaimed why are you guys washing your dishes with laundry detergent? I heard that and it all clicked. Holy shit, I've been pissing out bleach. I instantly felt ashamed and immediately apologized to my girlfriend. She took it really well, laughed at the situation, and we forgot about it. Sure enough, a few days later, after our dishes cups were no longer saturated with bleach residue, my symptoms disappeared. Holy shit. Glad you guys weren't any more severely affected. Not a chance. Tide is safe on colors, brightens whites and is gentle on most fabrics. His intestines are now the most beautiful glowing shade of pink. An ex claimed I had cheated after he found an ingrown hair on his dick. Similar situation. A girl I knew from high school came out to my college for fun. Not either of our styles. I was surprised when I got a call a few days later accusing me of giving her insty. She'd shaved it all off for the first time for me it was just razor burn. 